So the People's Bank of China out here late on Friday with a cut to both the deposit and lending rates and to the bank's reserve requirement ratio by 25 basis points and 50 basis points respectively. Uh, and this is coming at an interesting time, obviously, after this very dovish uh, ECB performance yesterday, uh, which really sparked risk appetite on the whole carry trade theme, support for the markets, and now China joining in with this, uh, with this move. Of course, the, uh, the initial reaction has been very enthusiastic in terms of risk appetite. Uh, riskier currencies as well, if we're looking at the foreign exchange side of things, really adding on to our uh, pro-EM stance in our quarterly outlook. Uh, and I think also this adds uh, some further pressure on the Chinese currency going forward, although that's always going to be up to uh, how China wants to control that slow uh, devaluation. So what does this mean for markets? I think it's very difficult to trade this on a late on a Friday. I would think we should wait for next Monday to see uh, where things are opening. I'd be very cautious about jumping in, on, for example, on, uh, on this tick up in the Australian dollar, which uh, often happens on these types of news items. In fact, we're looking at going short the Aussie dollar next week, provided the FOMC is supportive of the dollar and we see some weak CPI data out of Australia midweek. So let's all take it into, uh, take it into consideration. Of course, this is an important uh, part of the process, but often we have to also realize that these moves happen because fundamentals are weak or there's a weakness in the economy and, and uh, the central bank is making these cuts for a reason. So uh, uh, let's see if we're getting any follow through uh, early next week before uh, drawing any conclusions here.